Hi guys, my name is Kirsty and welcome back to Upside Down Books and to part two of my bookshelf tour. I did decide in the end to split it in half because it was just getting too long, so we're gonna get straight into it and have a look at the second half of all the books that I have in my possession. So this is now my small bookshelf to the side, which you've probably seen, um, which you've probably seen much less of. So it's just a two by four and it goes across a few pigeonholes there. So let's get cracking into that. The Black Arrow by Robert Louis Stevenson. The Iron Warrior by Julie Kagawa. The Girl with the Clockwork Collar by Katie Cross. Blood for Blood by Ryan Groudon. Off the Page by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. Salvation Lost by Peter F. Hamilton. The King's Diamond by Will Whitaker. The Adamantine Palace by Stephen Dayas. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo in the original edition. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Gospel of Loki by Joanna M. Harris, At the Water's Edge by Sarah Gruen or Sarah Gruen, The Museum of Extraordinary Things by Alice Hoffman, Frontlines by Michael Grant, Caleb's Crossing by Geraldine Brooks, A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir, The Wicked King by Holly Black, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, First Life by Gina Showalter, Nora and Kettle by Lauren Nicole Taylor, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, The Glass Sword and The King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard, Adventures of a Young Naturalist by David Attenborough, Empress of All Seasons by Miko Jean, Chasing the Shadows by Maria V. Snyder, Shadow Scale by Rachel Hartman, The Russian Tapestry by, uh, ba, whoa, Banafshi, Banafshi? Bena by Benafshe Serov. The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. The Cruel Prince and the Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. Internment by Samira Ahmed. The Eyes of Tambura by Maria V. Snyder. The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Beautiful Chaos by Gary Russell. Spool of Blue Thread by Anne Tyler. Vicious by V. E. Swab. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. In the Heart of the Sea by Nathaniel Philbrick. Red Queen. Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard. Pinocchio by C. Colo this book is actually from a second-hand bookstore and it is dated in 1935, so it's a really old copy. Saga Volume 1, Saga Volume 2, Saga Volume 3 by Brian Vaughan and Fiona Staples, The Wicked and the Divine by all of these people, The New Ghost by Robert Hunter, House by Art Spiegelman, Descender by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen, Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sano Takeda, Lo by Remenda Tokini, and then I'm not going to pull them all out because that's a lot of effort, but I've got the whole Harry Potter collection, and I do have The Prisoner of Azkaban, but I've just finished reading it, so it's not in here. Although that being said, there's also no room for it, so I'll come back to that one. But yes, all of the Harry Potters in the illustrated edition, plus some extra books. The Three Doctors by Alistair Reynolds. The Glamour Chase by Gary Russell. Harry Potter 1 and 2 in Italian. The 10th Anniversary of Twilight, which also includes... Life and Death, and then all of these Doctor Who books which we really don't care enough about to bring out, so mini Doctor Who. This is by far the ugliest pigeonhole on my shelf, um, none of the books really fitted nicely to create a complete set that filled the pigeonhole right, so just ignore how much that hurts your eyes. The Moving Finger by Agatha Christie, Dragon's Keep by Janet Lee Carey, The Wood by Chelsea Bobolsky, The Madness of Helen by Russell Meek, I actually think this might be a signed copy, yeah there you go it is. An advanced reader copy of The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyon, The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear in their ugly trade paperback formats by P Patrick Rothfuss, Cross of St George and Honour This Day by Alexander Kent, Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, and We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal, Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye, The Maid by Kimberly Cutter, Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter, Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, Silence, Crescendo, Finale, and Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I don't know if those are in the right order, I've got no idea what order they go, so apologies if they are not. Firelight by Sophie Jordan, Goddess Test by Amy Carter, And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz, Awake at Dawn by C.C. Hunter, Sabriel by Garth Nix, The Aware, Gill Feather and The Tainted by Glinda Lark, Crown of Coral and Pearl by Mara Rutherford, The Fallen Kingdom by Elizabeth May, The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Beddow, Hourglass by Claudia Gray, The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, The Extinction Trials by S.M. Wilson, You Know Me Well, by Nina LaCour and David Leverson, Knife by R.J. Anderson, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, The Emperor of Nihonja, The Lost Stories, and The Royal Ranger by John Flanagan. And as a quick peek on the top of this bookshelf, I have the special editions in the house colours of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, so 
Yes, I have four copies of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone just here. And I also have some special cloth bound editions of Jane Austen books. So I've got Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, Persuasion, Love and Friendship, which actually has a typo because I got this really cheap because the I and the E are the wrong way around. So it was a mistake, but that's fine. And then I have Emma, Northanger Abbey and Mansfield Park. Not to mention currently on my desk for books that have recently arrived and I've not got away. We have A Heart So Fierce and Broken, The Vanishing Deep and Just an Ordinary Family. Okay, quick time out um obviously i've changed i'm not wearing any makeup i apologize for the scary face um we've reached my big bookshelf and um i've caused myself a problem as you can tell time has passed since i uh bothered to film in between that room and this room because my bookshelves are spread over two rooms and then i did a really dumb thing and i decided to reorganize my bookshelves in the middle of of filming a, a book tour. So you see what I've done is I've actually brought some of the books I literally just showed you on my other shelf and brought them into this room and I, did, I didn't know what to do. I was like, do I just not put up the part two or, um, or do I just soldier on? But I've decided to soldier on. So I haven't taken any books that were on here to my other shelf, but there will be some double ups and I'm just gonna skip over them. Namely, um, if you can see at the very top, I have put all my throne of glass books on like a privileged spot at the very top between my gorgeous, um, elephant bookends, which are actually made from Tasmanian soapstone or something of that description. And then like I was trying to reorganize them and I got really confused and it got just, it, I need to do so much work. So this is a massive work in progress and next year when I film this, this will hopefully be a little bit more organized and obviously it'll be different now. So this is just to let you know what books I've got. Um, but right now, this is the equivalent of a messy room to me and I'm quite ashamed at how disgustingly organized these books are. So let's just roll on into it and we'll start going through. And again, I will just skip over the books that I remember that I've already done, but I may forget. So you're welcome for the most disorganized book tour that you've ever seen. Okay, my tripod is like a little bit short for this section. So excuse the not quite aesthetically pleasing angle. Is that too dark? Oh, that's better. The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brokenburr, Brokenburr, that one. The Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Tuchop. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Ma. The 57 Lives of Alex Wayfair by M.G. Bueland. The Chimes by Anna Smale. The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. Rooftoppers by Catherine Rundell. The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funk, Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk, Switched by Amanda Hocking, Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend by Matthew Green, My Family and Other Animals by Gerald Durrell, The Icebound, oh, can't, can't really see that one, there's a bit of glare on that one, but The Icebound Land and The Sorcerer in the North by John Funnigan. This does not want to stand up at all. The Selection by Kira Cass, Wintersmith by Terry Pratchett, my paperback version of, uh, oh that's gonna fall, my paperback version of The Assassin's Blade when you can't even see the title anymore, it's rubbed off by Sarah J Mess. Buddhism for Pet Lovers, which is not uh, fiction, I, th I thought it was. David Mickey's other book is a fiction, fictional book inspired by Buddhism, but this one is just straight up about Buddhism. The Lost Prince by Julie Kagawa. Funny story behind this one, it has deckled edges, which means it looks like that. They're actually a little bit uneven. I had this replaced twice by the book depository because I thought that this was a, it was like a, a faulty version, but this is actually a style of publishing apparently, so that was funny. The Italian version of A Fault in Our Stars, Colpa delle Stelle by John Green. Mortal Beings by Carl Lombard, who is actually related to me. So this is a signed copy. Magic, Flight, Physic, Quest and Siren by Angie Sage. Adventures with the Wife in Space by Neil Perriman. Until I Die by Amy Plum. Ink Exchange by Melissa Ma. The Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa. People of the Book by Geraldine Brooks. Good Night Mr. Tom by Michelle Magorian. Ascend by Amanda Hocking. Wake by Amanda Hocking. The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Iturbe. The Iron Knight by Julie Kagawa. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Trubosky. Where She Went by Gail Foreman. The Ruins of Gorlan and The Kings of Clumnil by John Flanagan. The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. The Magician's Nephew and The Silver Chair, which I appreciate is wildly out of order and I have no idea why just three and one and six are together. By C.S. Lewis. The Iron King by Julia Kagawa. Torn by Amanda Hocking. This is too small to stand up by itself. It's uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde 
by Robert Louis Stevenson. It actually has a short story in the back, would you believe it or not, called The Bottled Imp. Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. The Key to the Indian by Lynn Reed Banks. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. In the most disgusting cheap version I've ever seen. I've obviously got the lovely Barnes and Noble edition to replace it. I don't know why I still have this. I should, I should donate it. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. World Shaker by Richard Harland. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Defiance, Deception and Deliverance by C.J. Redwine. A greatly underrated series. Allegiant, Insurgent and Divergent by Veronica Roth. Percy Jackson and the Sea of Mon Monsters by Rick Riordan. Fairy Tales and Nightmares by Melissa Ma. The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. A Thousand Pieces of You. Ten Thousand Skies Above You. And A Million Worlds With You by Claudio Gray. Earthbound by April and Pike. Trick by Natalia Jester. Phenomenal book, can't recommend enough. The Water Diviner by Andrew Anastasios and Amigo Wilson Anastasios. Invictus by Ryan Groudon. The Red Ribbon by Lucy Adlington. Moab is My Washpot by Stephen Fry. Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding, which I, until this point, wasn't sure where my copy of it was, so that's nice to find it. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. The Silent Stars Go By by Dan Abner who is a great Doctor Who author. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, and I would like to say to as a PSA that I think the movie is better than the book. I said it, it's a sin, but it's true. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. Wings by April and Pike. Collide by Amy Jessica Russ. The Just City by Joe Walton. Angel Fall and End of Days. I, I don't know where the middle book is, that must have... But there is another book for this trilogy by Susan E. The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemison. The Girl in the Steel Corset by Katie Cross. The Everyday Witch. The Witches of Friars Lantern. The Witches of Sea Dragon Bay. The Witches of Winged Horse Mountain. The Witches of Bailey Wick. And The Witches of Widdishin's Academy by Sandra Forrester. Wolf Children by Paul Dowswell. Prince Caspian by C.S. Lewis. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doer. Holt's Peril by John Flanagan. An ugly version of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. An even uglier version of The Great Gatsby by Scott Fitzgerald. Heaven, Hades and Halo by Alexandra Adonetto. The Trilogy of Four, which is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. And that includes The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, Life, the Universe and Everything and So Long and Thanks for All the fish. Okay, moving down. Cartwheeling and Thunderstorms by Catherine Rundell. Throne of Glass. Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. All That I Am by Anna Funder. The Railway Man by Eric Lomax. Oakleaf Bearers by John Flanagan. The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis. Me Before You by Jojo Moyers. The Burning Bridge by... Yep, okay. The Burning Bridge by John Flanagan, The Last Battle and The Voyage of the Dawn Treader by C.S. Lewis, Eon by Alison Goodman, Talon by Julie Kagawa, The Nearest Faraway Place by Hayley Long, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, The Elite by Kira Cass, If I Should Die by Amy Plum, The Book of Lies by James Maloney, The Tale of Despero by Kate D. Camillo, The Martian by Andy Weir, Borderline by Michelle Baker, Between Two Thorns by Emma Newman, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, Legacy of the Clockwork Key by Kristen Bailey. Paperback version of All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Unhinged by A.G. Howard. Ink Hearts by Cornelia Funk. This is my copy of Enchante by Gita Trelease. Now this is the uncorrected proof so it actually has a really lovely cover and whilst this is cool this is um, very different to what it actually looks like. Madame Tussauds. Madame Tussauds Apprentice by Kathleen Benadubel. The Philosopher Kings by Joe Walton. A Thousand Perfect Notes by C.G. Drews. Eric's Ransom by John Flanagan. Again, an unfinished copy of Children of Blood and Bone, and the bone bit is all coming off because it's that type of writing, by Tommy Adyemi. Foundsling by DM Cornish. Die For Me by Amy Plum. According to Yes by Dawn French. The Butterfly and the Violin by Christy Cambron. Iron Queen by Julie Kagawa. Stitching Snow by R.C. Lewis. Codename Verity by Elizabeth Vine. The Dalai Lama's Cat by David Mickey. This is the book I was talking about before, which is actually fiction. The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. Boy Who Steals Houses by C.G. Drews. Artemis Fowl by Ian Colfer. The Life and Death of Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood, which is a devastatingly sad book. The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. And the Indian in the Cupboard trilogy. And The Mystery of the Cupboard by Lynn Reed Banks. Okay, so this bottom shelf run now has some hardbacks you have seen before. This was the main thing I changed. I decided that I had too many hardbacks on top of my other shelf, so I've brought them down here. So I'm just going to skip, um, um, well, all of the ones I can remember, which is probably most of them. So we'll just quickly whiz through this shelf and then we're done. Strings by David Estes. Darkest Mercy by Melissa Ma. Until the Beginning by Amy Plum. Orphan Train 
by Christina Baker Klein, Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, my token romance Highlander book, Laird of the Mist by Paula Quinn, and I would like to say that it is absolutely fantastic and would recommend. I mean, how could you resist that tagline? They call him the devil, but his kiss is heaven. Dragon Champion by E.E. E. Knight, one of the most boring books I've ever read and I DNF'd that one, so perhaps I should donate that too. Okay, and then we're on to onto hardbacks. So quick skip and forward to the other side. Oh, honestly, I'm pretty sure I haven't gone through these books, but forgive me if I'm doubling up now. Mimus by Lily Thau. Uh, Born at Midnight by CeCe Hunter. Ah, oh, here's the middle book. World After by Susan E. After the End by Amy Plum. In the Time of Dragons by Janet Lee Carey. Nil by Lynn Matson, White Stag by Cara Barbieri, Nil Unlocked by Nil Matson, <laughs> Nil Matson, by Lynn Matson, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alia Sayans, oh that's a name, Radiant Shadows and Fragile Eternity by Melissa Ma. The one hardback you haven't seen yet is By Yourself the Fucking Lilies by Tara Schuster. And I've got this uh, Star Wars by Ian Dosha, which is like William Shakespeare's Star Wars. Um, bit of a joke. The Jane Austen Pocket Bible. Everything you want to know about Jane Austen and her novels by Holly Ibbins. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The Shattered Court by M.J. Scott. Peril at End House by Agatha Christie. The Bad Beginning and The Reptile Room by Lemony Snicket. And The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. So that brings me to the end of my bookshelf tour for 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed, but I will say no more and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.